Hello everyone, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn about how proteins are classified. That is the classification of the protein. So, the learning objectives will be to recognize the classification of protein on the basis of their shape, their constituents and their function. Then, to explain the properties of the protein types on the basis of their shape and give examples for the same. And to explain the properties of the protein type on the basis of their chemical constituents and give examples for the same. Now, classification of proteins. We have millions of proteins in our body. Now, we have to have a method by which we can distinguish one protein from another. So, therefore, the scientists have classified protein on the basis of their shapes, the chemicals that are present in them, that is the chemical constituents and the function. First, we will take up how proteins are classified on the basis of their shape. So, on the basis of their shape, they can be of two types, globular proteins and fibrous proteins. Now, the globular protein, as the name suggests, they are like spherical balls or globules. So, they have a compact structure. So, they have a folded compact structure, which is like a globule or a spherical protein. These type of globular proteins, they are non-contractile in nature. So, they are non-contractile, but they are soluble. They are soluble in water, acids, alkalis and salt. The examples of globular proteins are egg albumins, globulins, enzymes, hemoglobins, also the hormone insulin. Now, the fibrous proteins. The fibrous proteins, as the name suggests, they are extended like long fibers. So, imagine this is an axis, then they are spirally coiled, just like the alpha helix. So, they are fibrous proteins, called fibrous proteins. Now, they are contractile in nature, but they are insoluble. So, in some acids, they might dissolve, but generally, they are insoluble. The examples of fibrous proteins are alpha keratins, which are found in hair, claws, and hoofs and nails and also the feathers of the birds also the fibroin which is founded in silk the collagen which is found in connective tissues all of these are fibrous proteins so there were two types of proteins on the basis of shape globular and fibrous now let us see on the basis of chemical composition so on the basis of chemical composition which means what type of chemicals or what types of groups are attached to them, can they function individually, are they, are they simple or they are complicated, they are of three types, the holoproteins, the conjugated proteins and the derived proteins. Now holoproteins are very simple proteins, means holo, holo means simple, which means they are only made up of amino acids like keratin, collagen, all of them albumins, globulins, the histone protein which is found in DNA. All of these are made up of only amino acids. Their composition has amino acid and nothing else in them. Then is the conjugated protein. Now the conjugated proteins are those proteins which are associated with a inorganic or organic prosthetic group. We, we have discussed about the prosthetic group in quaternary structure also. So they are called conjugated means joined with something else. Examples we will discuss in the next video in details. Now next is derived proteins. The derived proteins means we learned that when a protein is heated, it is denatured. Also by certain chemicals, the proteins can be broken down. So the resultant molecules which are obtained, which can be peptones, proteases or small size polypeptides. So they are called derived proteins. Now these derived proteins also have function and they also have individual names. These also we will discuss in detail in next video. Thus, to summarize, we can say that on the basis of shape, the proteins are of two types, globular and fibrous. And on the basis of chemical constituents, proteins are of three types. Holoproteins means only amino acids are present. Conjugated proteins means amino acid is combined with some other group, which can be anything organic or inorganic. And derived proteins, which are the small parts of form by breaking of the protein or denaturing of the protein. So this is all about the basic classification. In next video, we will discuss in detail conjugated and derived proteins and their examples. Till then, thank you. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.